Hey everyone, Garrett here, and welcome back to another Code the Web video. Uh, in this, finally, we will be getting started with actual tutorials on the web design trends that we have been discussing or discussed about a month ago. So, in this first video, we're going to do something really simple, really easy. I know the last, excuse me, two videos were kind of long, I think, or I feel like they were long. But, um, so, so yeah, this is just going to be really simple. We're going to do the ghost button, which uh, is really awesome and really easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this code right here and say code the web's web design trends for 2015. And we're going to have it link to the playlist of web design trend videos that I made about a month ago. So first thing what we have to do is I already got and I got the link and I'll just show you how I did that. I don't not like really, not subscriptions channel um videos no sorry playlists uh we're gonna go here we'll What's come down and we'll go there and we'll just copy this playlist right here but then i need a url shortener because that url it is really really long so we'll just use google's url shortener and we will shorten this url we'll copy that we'll get out of there we'll come back here and what we're going to do is this thing right here, this H2, we're going to change that to A. We'll leave the subtitle and we'll have the href be this shortened URL. And we'll change that to A. Um, good. Awesome. It probably, sorry, we'll change. Um, and then what we're going to do so that it won't change, it'll stay the same kind of, uh, same text font well it is the same font but the same stuff as this is we're gonna have to edit this the style of it so we're gonna come here and we're gonna say a what was it it was subtitle a dot subtitle um we'll say text decoration will be none color will be uh six zeros which is black um, and then text size or font size rather will be let's see what 24 pixels is why is that not working um, sub it's because I didn't spell that right now it should work there we go um, and that's even too big there so let's try 18 pixels no nope, let's try 20 20 pixels okay that's fine um, how's 22 look all right yeah this is this is fine so here's the thing you're not going to be able to get the full effect of what it's going to look like because this is just some empty back. This is just some like straightforward static color black uh, background rather. Um, when we put a video in as the background, which we're going to do in the next video, then you'll be able to see how awesome this looks because this right here, uh, this ghost button or what will be a ghost button and this title right here are actually going to be overlaid on top of the video. So, so yeah, so it's going to look a lot cooler. Um, but now what we have to do is we have to get down to actually making it look awesome because right now it's just text that you can click on. And of course it goes to the thing or the playlist. So what we're going to do is we're going to say display block. Then we're going to set the width to, uh, I don't actually know what the width of this is. And height will be 100. No, height won't be anything. We're not going to set the height. We're actually not going to set the width either. Actually, that is way better. Uh, what we're going to do, however, is we're going to say padding is going to be 10px and 10px. Um, and then we'll say border. Um border um, style yes yeah, style that makes sense S solid 
border width will be one pixel. Let's see, and the color, of course, we can't forget the color, the border color is going to be um, like a uh, like a yellow or something, orangey yellow. Yeah, that's cool. Let's try that. All right, awesome. And we can even, let's just make this 15 pixels and 15 pixels. Add a little bit more there. All right, cool. So now what we have to do is we need to set what it's going to look like when it hovers. And this is kind of like what makes it a ghost button. So, you know, what? wait, let's make the color black actually for now. And then when we go to add the, uh, when we go to add the video background, we'll change it back to yellow. And I want to do this because I know that yellow color on this uh, aqua colored background is very hard to see. So let's just keep this like this. And um, we'll set the hover. So when it hovers, so, and this is the pseudo class hover, um, we're, we actually don't need a lot of this stuff. So we don't need these three things but we're just going to say background color is going to be black so zero 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 and then the font color font color no just color is going to be uh white so one two three four five six now look at that that's basically how you make a ghost button. Really, really simple. And perhaps if we want, we could even make this two pixels. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks a lot better than just one pixel, I think. Um, so yeah, now when we add the video background in the next video, like I discussed, like I said before, uh, we're gonna make this like a like a yellowish color. Um, but for now, I think this is good. So you click on this. And it'll go to that. But, you know. So imagine there was a video here. Um, if you were to have it like this the entire time, it'd be very distracting. But you take that away and it's a lot less distracting. So that's why people have ghost buttons. And that's why they're utilized in web design in 2015 and probably for, for some years to come. So in the next video, you'll be able to see this come together a lot better. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Garrett from Code the Web. Thank you for watching this video. It does mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. The button's right down there. If you want to watch the video that came right before this, click right up there. And uh, if you want to watch a video that's going to come after this, click right there. Um, well, you actually won't be able to click there now because it's not there because I haven't put the video up yet. Wait another week. But once it is there, then you'll be able to click on it if you're watching this video in the future. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and again, click that button down there to subscribe, to subscribe so that you'll be able to get all of my amazing videos about web design and cool internet things like that.